Hello Lilith. So welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, you are here with baby Abby and um, she is the Abby Sculpt by Claire Taylor Dolls. And she has a vinyl kit and um, I just want to talk about a couple things. Um, she is actually getting ready to go for rooting. And so I won't be able to show her for a while until she gets her lovely hair. But one of the things I wanted to talk about, and I made a video, but I decided not to uh, show that video um, just for other reasons. But I, um, <laughs> look at her little foot. Um, I was talking about armatures and um one thing armatures and drinking what is always an ongoing topic so i just wanted to revisit this topic really quick for people that may be new maybe thinking about getting them or you know getting a silicone baby and should they you know get armatures or not armatures i see in the forums all the time where you know um collectors ask about it and artists you know give their opinion there are so many people um that will like i said will scare you about silicone and just everything about it just makes it a little just risky um when they talk about the armatures they say that they can break or poke through the silicone i have not experienced either one of those scenarios um in my time of collecting but i know that it could happen and i'm just gonna you know like i said i wanted to make the other video much shorter so that's why I'm doing this video basically it boils down to the quality of the armature the um, the way that it is installed in the doll and how you handle your dolls um, with or without armatures you can have damage if you mishandle your your dolls um, if you're gentle with your your dolls and handle them you know like they're as if they were babies real babies and not slinging them around and stuff like that you should be fine um even with some of the worst armatures because i have had some that armatures feel like someone just put a coat hanger in it or whatever and it's really hard and rough and stuff like that but even with them if you're gentle enough um you should be fine um but you know, shopping for these dolls are so, I've said it so many times, whether it's a reborn or a silicone baby, it is already so complex because we're not going in the store, putting our hands on it, seeing it, checking it out, feeling it, none of that. We are strictly going off of someone's word, reputation, um, and what we see. And a lot of it is more than, you know, what we've heard and all this stuff. And sometimes some of the stuff is just myths sometimes people like to tell you things that they know nothing about um for instance i'll see a lot of people talking about silicone oh my god i wouldn't want one they're just too fragile da, da, da. and then you ask have you ever owned a silicone no but i no 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 stop right there if you have not never owned one please make sure you say that before you you give your opinion say i've never owned one but this is what I think because you don't really know unless you have actually interacted with one. Um, if you never installed um, armatures or never tried or never um, had a doll with armatures, then your credibility or opinion, the value of your opinion is a little bit lower than someone that actually experienced it or installed them or whatever. Um, and not saying you shouldn't have an opinion because you can still have an opinion. I mean, you can still say, I think, or my opinion, although I never, you know, but at least put that out there so the person know when you're speaking, you're not speaking from something you've experienced. Because I think that that really confuses new people a lot just as well as like drinking wet drinking wet people say oh i think i still don't think it's safe i think it'll mold i think it'll mildew 
five years later, they're doing it, you know, but you know, I've talked to, um, I've had, had them and not had any issues. And I've also talked to, you know, a legend in the community, um, Melissa McCrory. And she is the first person to do a platinum silicone doll in this community, as far as I know. And um, before that, I think Rita Arnold did uh, 10 base, which you don't want 10 base because they fall apart. But um, she said she tied a drinking wet doll ch from childhood or something. And it still has not molded or mildew and she still has it as well as she's had drinking wet in her dolls for many years and not had an issue. So as long as you're using just water, you should be fine. But you guys be extra with a lot of stuff that you do and then you get mad with the artist and or the, the person you bought it from when you go to put in formula and, you know, this and that in your doll. And then you next thing you know, the thing's stinking and got flies coming out of it. That's your fault, sis. So... You know, you want to consider your source. You want to think about this. You only live once. If you want something and you want to experience it, just experience it. Life is short. You can go out and buy a Tesla. And if you're a reckless driver or you don't take care of your cars, that Tesla going to be on the side of the road just like a, a little um, golf cart. You know, um, it doesn't matter. You got to take care of your things and you know you got to do a little bit of research um I say a lot of research but some of us be in a rush at least do a minimum you know um the other thing about tea time Tuesday I know some of you guys got a little uncomfortable some of you guys are probably like oh god I'm not coming on that I'm not listening to this. I know I went off of the norm I was really tired <laughs> but the truth is I wish that we could leave the seriousness stuff out of our dolls because when we come here we want to flip off and we want to just go into la la land and pre pretend that some of the real life issues don't exist unfortunately the truth of the matter of it is is that it does exist when i came into the dolls to be honest and maybe i was just oblivious to what was going on around me because i was still new but I think I was pretty involved. But the racial tension and the, you know, the politics and stuff just wasn't here as strong. If it was here, which I'm sure it was, people wasn't so vocal about it publicly. Or they wasn't blatantly doing it. It was, you know, it was more, or maybe it was so much love and unity that... It just overread the other little things because people were so loving and i was like oh my god i've never seen so many black white chinese uh, japanese whatever people acting like a family like that that they were just one in the same that they were just people they were just human which is you know what i wish the world would do but that's not the case um, but the truth of the matter is, is that it does exist in the doll world very much so too. I've seen some very talented artists just get overlooked because they don't fit the, 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 the status quo or, um, you know, even with myself, I probably would do a lot better if I just shut up, but <laughs> girl, what? But I know that I am myself and I'm very outspoken. So I decided that I want to just do me and everybody that's here for me will be here. And those that are not, will not. And people that are genuinely um, not, does not fit in those categories of, you know, judging people strictly off the base of their skin and not their character and or you know because they don't collect the same dolls as them or whatever the case may be they are not offended you know what i mean so it may be a little comfortable like oh my god i can't believe she just said that or whatever but they're not offended the only people that are offended are people that really actually know that they actually do these things or 
have behaved in these manners. Um, I know it's uncomfortable and it sounds like you're trying to, you know, I don't want, see, there's a thin line between let's support black people and let's divide and conquer. Um, because I don't want to be one of those people say, okay, let's support, let's support black artists, let's support black artists. And then it becomes, okay, black on this side, white on that side. I don't want to see that. I want to see less support good people. Let's support good people, black or white. And some of my black people may not like that I say that because they may feel like I'm, you know, being a um, switch out or something or whatever. But I just feel like the community is so diverse with people from all across the world, different backgrounds, different cultures. And I feel like there's a place for everybody. And I just like I feel like everybody have their own special talent and there's something that each one of us can give to each doll that we put out and there's a customer for everybody. I feel like we don't have to separate each other by color codes. We don't have to separate each other by, you know, this or that. You know, it. we just need to celebrate our dolls and support good honest business good honest business that's what we need to support um and i think we'll be fine <laughs> but that's all that i was basically saying and um but i did want to you know i, I wanted people to know that you know i've i've been hurt more and I, I, I'm, I'm sad to say this, but I've been hurt more by people that look like me th in this community. Um, of course, in society, it's a different story. So I get the frustration and everything that goes on in um, with us in the world. Because trust me, I deal with it every day where everything is such a struggle just because of the color of my skin. And um, I've never dealt with it so much as what I've, I'm dealing with it right now. Um, so I, I totally get it. But, you know, I've also, like I said, been hurt more than anyone by my own people. And I'm sad to say that. And maybe, maybe I'm guilty of trusting them more because I, I think that okay, they look like me, you know, we are from the same background, we're from the same culture, so I can trust this person a little bit more and let them in a little deeper, and then boom. For whatever, from one reason to the next, it's been, you know, a total, you know, letdown, a disappointment. Um, you know, a few, I still cringe when I think about the situations you know um i'm still emotional about some of the the situations that i've experienced really emotional um so call it what it is but somebody had to say it and yes we do have to struggle in this community and you have to take leaps and bounds and you have to be extra polite and you have to be more politically correct and you have to you know use proper english and you know you have to do all these extra things when you're a black artist or a black cre creator in this community in this hobby in the world when you're black versus if it was a non-black person i've seen some of the most racy things being posted or said some disrespectful unprofessional all types of stuff even scammers have been forgiven for scamming hundreds of people but if a black artist do one freaking thing they pin them down and they blackball them out of the community so it happens it's real and a lot of people don't want to believe that and even some of the very very successful artists people refuse to give them their their badges because or you know because 
just because they are not because they are not I don't know they don't fit the the the, the bill <sighs> so like I said it's black history month um you rarely see me talk about politics religious religion or um just stuff like that I really don't get into it which is the same as I don't really do the whole dress your babies in Valentine's Day St. Patrick's Day um you know the whole all the holidays and stuff and don't get me wrong I do celebrate holidays um it's not a religious thing I just don't typically do it with my babies I pretty much just enjoy my babies and go so for those that like I said for those that don't understand the message behind Tea Time Tuesday and I like to have fun and laugh. There is a seriousness behind it and I did feel that it was serious enough for me to come back and try to clarify and break it down for those that may not understand. I have friends in this community that are not not black that I trust and that I confide in and I we talk about different situations and I don't see color when we're speaking there you know one in particular that come to mind we are like sisters like we literally laugh and talk about stuff that I don't talk about on my channel and stuff like that because we don't we don't we don't judge by the base by the color of our skin um at least from it's been years like many many years and I've she hasn't shown me that side of her and apparently I haven't showed her that side of me because it I don't think it exists um we all have our things that we do if you be really honest we all have our things that we say and we do behind the scenes I'm not going to get into that but you should it shouldn't be something that just overpowers and I don't know it's just I just wish it was more fair but it's not um but I'm thankful for you know um having a platform and having a voice and being able to speak and not and people not being able to take it away from me um regardless if I lose subscribers or I lose followers or lose customers behind it I just felt like it was something that needed to be said so um if you're still here and you're still watching and you're still supporting, all right, man. Okay, <laughs> we doing good. Otherwise, I'm well. Otherwise, you wouldn't be seeing this. But for everybody that still is okay and survived Tea Time Tuesday, we'll get back to regular business schedule next week. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and. Make sure you put Team Abby in the comment section because she's been such a good sport. She's just like, Lord have mercy what this child is doing. <laughs> All right, later guys. Bye.